So today I want to talk about my 12 points that I use to anchor me in auditions. I call this my audition cheat sheet. I got these steps from when I was in class with Royal London. These steps will help you in your audition. If you just use four or five of these steps, you're going to knock it out the park in, in your audition. I used to take this with me on a little four by six card whenever I had an audition. So whenever I got my sides, I will make sure that I put these 12 points somewhere in that audition. So without further ado, let's dive into these 12 points. So the first point is, who am I? I need to know who I'm playing in this role that I'm auditioning for, right? So what is her name? How old is she? So that is the who am I? How old am I? What is my job description? You know, what do I want out of life? But if I just focus on who I am, uh, what I want, what are my challenges? How am I going to go about the world? And maybe a couple of physical attributes to my character. So maybe my character is a little tight. So I might have her wear a bun or she's very loose. I might have my hair all out. I would have on a maybe a frilly dress. I want to represent that character as best as I can. So I need to know who I am. So that's the first point I need to know. Who am I? Point number two, what do I want? I need to know as the actor what the character wants in the scene. In a scene, we always have a want. We always have something that we're going for. You know, maybe I want somebody to give me a raise or maybe I want someone to give me information. So I have to be clear on my want. Point number three, what are my obstacles? In every scene, there are obstacles that that character has to try to overcome. So if my want was to get somebody to give me information, if I'm playing a police officer or a detective, I want that person to give me information. The obstacle could be that they don't want to give me information. How am I going to get past that obstacle? I need to know the obstacle so that I can start figuring out how to get past it. Point number four, where am I? Location, location, location. It is important to know where you are in the scene. Are you at home? Are you at a store? Are you in somebody's apartment? Are you in an elevator? The location is really important because that's going to inform the scene. You know, if I'm in a supermarket and I'm having an argument with my mate, Maybe my character is not big on letting everybody know. So if I'm in the supermarket, I might go, I, I just don't want to talk about it right now. But when we get home, I'm going to tell you. Or if I, if my character is somebody who likes drama and I'm in a supermarket, oh, all hell is going to break loose. What do you mean you're not going to give me what I want? The place, that location is so important. Just like if the location is in your bedroom or the location is in your lover's bedroom or the location is in your best friend's bedroom, it shifts the energy of where you are. So location is really important. Where you are. You must know that in your audition. Point number five, who is the character that I am talking to and what is the relationship with my character? If I am talking to Susie and Susie is my sister, that is the relationship between the characters. We are sisters. If I'm talking to Officer Joe and he's my arresting officer, that tells me who the character is and how am I going to deal with them. I'm going to deal with Susie differently than I'm going to deal with the arresting officer. So 
know who the character is that you are talking to. Point number six, what is the moment before? When I'm starting a scene, I need to always be aware of where I'm coming from. What was the moment before? If I'm a police detective and I am interviewing somebody, I need to know where it is that I'm coming from. Am I coming from the front of the police station? Am I coming from having interviewed another witness? I need to know the moment before because that is going to help me in that scene in a big way. Number seven, score the beats. When I get sides, the first thing I do is I read through it a couple of times and then about the third or fourth time, I take a pencil and I start scoring the beats. That means I am taking little pieces of the scene. Every time the scene changes, I'm making a, a, a line there. So if the material says, yes, I just came from Susie's house. Ooh, I like your shoes. There are two beats there. I just came from Susie's house is one beat. The next beat is, I like your shoes. Very important. We change conversation uh, so many times and in a scene there's always a change there's always changes and those changes are identified as beats your beats are like mini objectives they're like mini little wants what do i want here i want her to laugh what do i want here i want her to smile i want her to cry i want her to slap me i want her to walk away from me i want her to give me the doll those are all little mini wants there's a big want in your scene and then the beat represents the little wants. Point number eight, what are my doings? Even though you're auditioning, you should have something that you're doing. So it's not just I'm reading this to the person. You should have something, not necessarily props, but you should be, you know, maybe looking down at your shoe or playing with a chain or fidgeting in your pocket, there should be some doing that you are doing within the audition to bring it alive, as opposed to just be a talking head. And so I wanna know that, no, it should that, physicalize it. Bring some doings into the audition for yourself. I always like to have either a tissue, I like to have maybe a little cup of water if I'm actually auditioning in a room as opposed to just doing a, a, a self-tape. Um, but have something. We usually carry, our women usually carry their purses with their phone. You know, have something that you do. Point number nine, what is my fourth wall and where am I placing it? So your fourth wall should always be an invisible wall that you put between you and the casting people or you and the camera, create that fourth wall, know what it is. So if I'm in my bedroom, I am creating that fourth wall. Maybe it's my uh, window. Maybe I, I have my window. So I have things that I can look out from there. Or maybe it is my wall that I have all my pictures on but you should be able to create a fourth wall so that you are not um, paying attention to the casting people or the people that are auditioning you or even the camera that's shooting your video. You should just be focused on creating the space and that fourth wall is so crucial. Just like when you're doing theater, you gotta put up a fourth wall between you and the audience. So make sure that when you're doing your audition, you know what that fourth wall is and you have it right there in front of you. Point number 10 is make sure you raise the stakes in the audition. You have to find something that's going to emotionally ignite you. So if it's laughter, if you're having fun, or if you're angry, or if, if you're afraid, 
those stakes have to be so high that your body actually feels that emotion, not you creating it, but it's actually just happening because you're, you're thinking about that thing. They have to be life and death. It has to be life and death. It can't just be another day in the park. That's not what acting is about. Acting is about high stakes. In comedy, it's high stakes. In drama, it's high stakes. Point number 11 is identify what type of scene this is that you are auditioning. Is it a love scene? Is it a power scene? Is it a money scene? Every scene is usually based in power, love, or money. I want something. I want love. I want power. I want money. So you have to identify what type of scene this is. Love, power, or money. Don't forget it. Love, power, or money. Point number 12, be confident of your choices and your decisions that you've already made. And now be present in the room, have fun, listen, make sure you're doing active listening and just have a good time. You are this character. This character is you. You got the goods. Now deliver it with confidence, joy, and a lot of love. If you just do a few of the points that I've given you in the audition, you not only will knock it out the park, but chances are you're gonna book the job because you're giving so much more than most actors coming in the room will do or doing self tapes will do. Most actors are lazy and they just read the material. You have to bring it to life. And these points are to help you bring the audition to life. You got this. You're going to knock it out the park. If you don't get the job, they're going to remember you for the next job because they saw how committed you were in this audition. So have fun and just enjoy being an actor because I do. Well, that is all the time I have for you today. Until next time, please practice common sense. Take it with you wherever you go.